Hola! Welcome to the estate. Scott from the 98 Rock Morning Show. Justin, Scott, and Spiegel. And I'm here with my good buddy. It's Dave from the mill. Come on over, Dave. We'll social distance. We got our masks on. Seven convenient locations, themillstores.com. What, uh, the mill, let's, let's talk about it. What do we got? Uh, lawn care, farm, animals, feed, bird feeders, plants, seed, everything you can think of. Seven locations, that's where I get all my grass seed. I love the mill and uh, Dave is here. We're gonna do a soil sample in a little bit. He's gonna take a look at my yard, help me out. And we're gonna get this, uh, you can see. Needs a little bit of help. I don't know what's going on, but that's why I have Dave here, because he is an expert soil sample. We're gonna get some seed, we're gonna get it sorted, and I want you guys to do the same. You gotta take care of your yard, you want it to look good. Not too bad, right? Not bad at all. Come on out, come on in. Let's get to over here. So, I uh, inherited a pretty good yard, and it was looking good for a while, and then, uh, I don't know, it kind of turned brown on me, so Dave is gonna lend some insight and help me uh, get it all sorted out with the help of the mill. Now, I use the uh, the three-way, the three-way fescue is my go-to okay. from you guys. It's my three, favorite seed. Three-way is number one. Yeah, that's the one. Number one mix. This is, we've been through a hot, dry, sun beating on this. It's on the slope. Yeah. Water will run off when you do get rain. Yeah. So this is a tough spot. Okay. But we're going to take a soil sample of the whole yard. We'll get the results back, and then we're going to make a plan for your yard uh, starting in September, so you can start when it starts to cool off. I do know that. Seed in September. Am I right about that? Correct. See? I've done my homework. Fall is the best time to seed. There you go. Spring would be the second best. There you go. Now, uh, I did also some research and I, I diagnosed this as maybe a rough stalk bluegrass problem, which is invasive. Would, would maybe that be a proper analysis? Could you be able to tell? That would be. Rough stalk's a spring plant. It's a winter annual. Uh, this could be more of a turf disease problem. Oh, okay. So it looks like you might have a little brown patch here. Yep. And again, when it rains, the water rolls off down here. You can see it's greener here on the edge. And as you go down, it gets greener. Right. So there's a lot of moisture not going in on this hillside. Okay. So we might want to address the compaction issues so that water can penetrate. All right. So. I want to tell everybody how important it is to get a soil sample. We can go to the mill and we can get all the products you need, but you don't know if you're wasting money or you're hurting the environment by putting down things that you don't, don't need in your right. soil. So the best thing and the cheapest in your lawn is to take a $20 soil sample. It tells you exactly what you need. I was gonna say, what, what will the soil sample tell us? Like what, the what do you get? The soil sample is gonna tell you what the pH is. The pH is the acidity of the soil. So it's gonna determine whether you need lime or don't need lime. Okay. And then, of course, it's going to tell us the phosphorus and potash. Okay. Nitrogen is not on a test. Uh, we know how much nitrogen to put down each time. And from there, you, you can formulate a game plan. Exactly. I love it. So, in order to take a proper soil sample, you need a clean bucket. Plastic is preferable. Metal can, can take some flakes off the sides and mess up the soil sample. So, a plastic bucket is best. A soil probe is best to have because it's more accurate and go to the right depth. But if you don't have a soil probe, you can use a shovel. But the biggest thing is to take multiple samples in the yard. Got it. The more samples you take, the more accurate the soil results are going to be. So Scott and I are going to start. We're going to start walking around the yard. We're going to pull some plugs. We're going to put it in the bucket. We're going to mix it up. And we're going to put it in a nice bag and mail it off to the lab. Let's do it. So the whole idea is to go about six inches deep. That's where the main roots are of turf grass. So if you go 12 inches deep, that's not going to be as accurate. If you only go two inches deep, you're not going to be in the root zone. So the whole idea is to get a good six inches and put it in the bucket. I hear a lot of people that go to one spot in the yard and dig up enough soil and then they mail it off. But you have to go to multiple locations. The soil pH may be 5.8 right here, but a random test of the whole yard, it might be 
and very little lime will be needed at that point. So we're going to keep going around and taking samples. A little bit on the top, just in case the dog was just out here and left the spot. So that would mess up the soil sample pretty bad if you collected dog droppings or bird droppings. So there's about a six inch sample. Can you tell anything just visually or no? You can you can actually see the different layers here. Right, yeah. I mean, it's there's your roots going down. Uh -huh. uh, let's see, there's, there's still roots here holding the soil together. You see that? Yep. So you have a pretty good root system. Good root system there. As you get a little bit deeper down. That looks down like clay. Is that clay? Six, we start to get a little poorer soil. Yeah. There's some compaction possibilities there with the clay. But there are a lot of little rocks in here, mm -hmm. which will help with drainage. Okay. So it's not terrible. All right. You can put a lot more in here if you wanted to. Again, the more samples, the more accurate it's going to be. Uh, if this was a 50 acre field, I would still be taking more samples. We have a quarter of an acre to a third of an acre here. So this is going to be sufficient. How many think we took? 15 maybe? 10, 15? 12 to 15. We're going to put this in a bag, mail it off to the lab. Yep. And then they'll send it back to the mill and they're going to look for what kind of things again? Uh, the, the nutrients that are in the soil, the phosphorus, the potassium, the calcium, the magnesium. Uh, we can check off for, for micronutrients so we can get iron and zinc and boron. But I don't know that that's necessary right now. Okay. I think we're going to stick with the pH and the macronutrients. Yep. So. And then from there, we'll get uh, the lawn looking good with the mill. Dave and all my friends over there. Seven convenient locations, themillstores.com. I'm pumped. I'm excited. I love awesome. you guys. Awesome. And uh, if you haven't been, just go. Take the kids, do something. Stella loves it with uh, the chickens and all the little farm animals and all the stuff for your yard and the bird feeders. And what am I missing? Am I missing anything? I mean, there's so much to mention. It's hard to. It, it, it's it's unbelievable what we, what we what the mill does for the community. Yeah. Uh, 4-H, um, just in general. So this is our soil sample bag that we are going to mail this soil off in. It's not dirt. It's soil. Uh, the biggest thing, people make a huge mistake, is not putting enough up to fill the line. It says right here, fill to this line. <laughs> and we send this to the lab and we spend all this time and we only send them a little bit in the bottom of this bag, it's not going to give you an accurate reading. So Scott is mixing the soil up. We're going to put it in this bag and we're going to mail it off to the lab. Here we go. Perfect. My sample. Ready to go. Excited. I'll let you do the honors. You can close it up. Close it up. Got your name on here, your address, and that is your yard. So it's all identified. It'll come back to us within a week. And then Scott and I are going to catch up via email and we're going to make a plan for his yard for this fall because right now is when you should be working and taking care of your yard. And don't forget, if you're uh, dealing with the mill, they deliver, right? You guys deliver all over? Deliver all over. If you're not comfortable coming out or you can't come out, call any of the locations, whether it's a bag of dog food or a ton of fertilizer. The mill will bring it right to you. There you go. Gotta love that.